Hey Zach, what's up? What are you doing here, Zachary? <laughs> Zach, what's up? Nothing. You're it's awesome. Just, I want you to know. Over here. You should have said the roof. You should have said the roof. Uh, uh, yeah. the roof. Uh, you are awesome. No, I'm not. Yeah, you are. What? Well, that I go to pretty much every day? Yeah, and you're hyper and all that. I love it. My hyper is not even as peak yet. Oh, yeah. Oh, come around, man. I'm just kidding. So, hyper and then random. Yep, hyper and random. That's what you get. Well, I got five hours before. The crystal floor. <laughs> Perfect, that's the thing Yes. We're both. Such a strong. Where's now? Where's now to throw the pigeons? Uh, I
Nicole would bring them both anyway. I drive a truck with the wallet. You drive a truck? Do you see what I just did? Oh, damn. Yeah. I closed the door with my butt. Um, you drive a truck. Oh, man. I hate roof bananas. I hate that Yeah. I don't know why. I mean, there's nothing wrong with it. I don't want to put a roof on that. What the hell are you laughing at? What the hell is that? We got a big roll. We're going to review. Right, I'll tell you what, we will review nah, just the points that we got so far. Okay? Nah, well, listen, bro. <laughs> Tyler Clapp. Oh, we haven't done our rounds. Libby, start us off. What? Uh, what do you do? What do you do? What do you do? What do you do? I had. Stop the sugar plum. I had a chicken sandwich last night. What kind? Chicken noodle and ham sandwich. Wait, your sandwich had chicken noodle and ham in it? I know. Whoa. What kind of soup did you have? Chicken noodle. <laughs> <coughs> Don't tell me I'm sick. I just brushed you. Thank you. Good morning. Marty, sick. I might sneeze on you. I might punch 
Okay, uh, you have chicken noodle soup and a ham sandwich. Was there cheese on the sandwich? Hell no. Yeah, what? I hate melted cheese. Did I say melted? I just said cheese. There was no cheese of any kind on my So you don't eat like cheeseburgers? It's just, it was literally ham and bread. Question, do you eat cheeseburgers? No. Oh. So you don't like, oh, wow. Well, I do eat pizza. But like, it's just, it's... That's nasty. I got you. No, no. You know what? Why are you saying, what? golden one, stop it. Be nice. Stop what? Be nice. No, I mean, it's a, it's a, it's a, uh, <laughs> it's a, uh, you know, it's just, it's an opinion, right? You can play that again. Okay, hold on. <laughs> I might need one of you to go down to Mr. Phelps. I can go. And get Ryan. Hey, John, it's Wallace. Do you need me to send someone to grab Ryan? He walked out. Okay, but he seems to keep popping in, huh? Is He'll just pop in. Is he going for something specifically? Got you. Okay. I will. I will talk to him. I don't know if it's going to help, but I will talk to him. And uh, if we need to, I can post a guard up. <laughs> um, okay. Cool. Thanks. I can go get Ryan. He's not in there right now, but I do need to talk to Ryan. Give me one second. You did. Thank you. Um, so we're good. Um, and, um, you remember um, on Monday you told me to come back on no. Tuesday? I had to take the math test for my test. Yeah, do you know what a math test is? Yeah. Sea salt and avocado oil. Ooh. But I left early today. So. Gotcha. No. Thank you for bringing that stuff today in here. Let me take, hold on, let me take roll and then I'll get you your map. That's all. I'll see if I can find it. I don't know that I can you find it. Bring look on that, hey, will you look on Chris's desk really, really, really and really see if you see it laying out? It might, I think that was the last place I saw it. So you might have put it in some frame. <laughs> okay, cool. Yeah. I'll talk to him in a minute. I got a new name, by the way. From now on, you guys are going to call me Skrillas. Shibboli. Shibboli. <laughs> That's terrible. That's terrible. That's terrible, baby. <laughs> Libby, quit Snapchatting. No. Quit Snapchatting. Why don't you guys just give your freaking gadgets a rest? Um, do I sound like a grumpy old man when I talk like that? <laughs> Yeah, it's normal. It's normal? Okay. Well, I haven't been there this year. Libby, Nicole is not here. Did anyone see Nicole today on campus? I don't know, maybe I think so. No, nah, she wasn't here. I really don't know which one is the bottom. That, 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 that's my hoodie on my phone. Yeah. What is it y'all need? Who needs a pencil? Hey, you know why? Did you eat my damn sunny bun yesterday? <laughs>
I'm you gonna, have to be told. I'm going to tell him that next time we at the gym. Please. Hey, Robert. Hey, how do you like that bacon western cheese? <laughs> First time you ever had a bacon western cheese? Did you get a little gas, maybe? <laughs> that sounds good. I love. Uh, you know what? I kind of missed that. I used to. Should I just break my book now? Yeah, do it. Yeah. Do it. Oh, I so want to. Hey, Andrew, will you ask Ryan to please come here? Why should I? You don't have to. Yeah. Devin, no. Devin, could you please ask Ryan to come here? I, I, I thought you were leaving the room, so I was going to ask you to do it on your way out. You don't have to. Don't worry about it. But it's hard to control. I'm not asking you to control. I'm asking if you can ask him to come back in. Same difference. No, it's not. If he says no, then just come back in and say he won't come. I mean, that's fine. Same difference, still. Andrew, you don't have to do it. Same Andrew, I'm not asking you to do it. <laughs> Devin, are you okay with doing it? If you don't want to do it, you don't have to. No one has to. I'm just, listen, I thought you were out walking. Maybe you could ask you to come back on the <laughs> Why, why did you think it's make such a big deal about it? <laughs> hey, Ryan. Ryan. Hey, Ryan. Look at me. Hey, Ryan. Make Ernesto stuff. Ryan, do you have work to do for Mr. Barlow? Do you have a package? Uh, uh, do you have one? Uh, uh, hey, Tyler, will you do me a favor? Will you please go to Mr. Barlow's class? Have a seat, Ryan. And ask for a packet for Ryan. You can stay out there until the packet arrives. Hey, you want to say what you had to do last night? Um, I didn't have it. Okay. Yeah. Good enough. Um, Nico, oh, you already said Carl's Jr. Prize Company. Ernesto, what? what did you have for dinner last night? Um, I had three tacos. Yeah. Three tacos? Like what? Uh, El Pastor. In the room. Actually, it's not El Pastor, huh? It's Al. Isn't it A-L Pastor? The Pastor. Oh, day? Yeah. That's not what it says at restaurants when you look. It says owl. A L. Pastor. What does owl mean? Owl? Owl. Owl pastor. Is that the male? Is that the masculine version? Right? L is feminine, right? <coughs> L is like what you. Do you guys know that? The feminine, the? In French, when you ever hear le and la, la, français, le, français. L E L A, you put L E in front of masculine nouns, L A in front of feminine nouns. Got it? Do they do that in Greek? Not sure. You're not sure? Here we say the or a. It doesn't signify whether the thing is masculine or feminine. In the Romance languages, Italian, French, Spanish, they identify if you use a the. Le or la. So that must be the same thing in Spanish. You use L in front of masculine, right? Or is it feminine? Do you know? Nouns. What? You know? <laughs> Dude, I thought I was having a moment with you, man. <laughs> Have you ever done that where I've done that before? Been on a date, you're like talking and you kind of fade out. You know, you're just like, you know, what the hell are they talking about? Okay. It's like, you start thinking about your mom, you have a roast of And they say, so what do you think? And you're like, uh, yeah, <laughs> you were listening to anything I said, were you? You're like, uh, you know, yeah, I was. Okay, then what did I just say? You know, you're saying some stuff about some things. Okay, listen, you need to, okay, okay, I'll listen. You need to start talking. Say that again. Oh, cookies. Sorry, that's happening. Ernesto, you already said what you had. Dai Chi. I, I didn't know what I had. You said you had street tacos again. Yeah. Oh, but you, you didn't say what kind. Yeah. All right, what kind? All right, don't get any. Don't shit up under my hey, head. Hey, 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 you know what cafe means? Hey, hey, hey. What's the Greek word for face? Let's see if it's close to this. Do you speak Greek? Uh, no. Oh, do you like fruit? Oh, my God. How do you like those oh. olives? This is Greek, right? Olives, you get it. I believe an olive is a type of fruit, by the way, too. I believe. Uh, grows on a tree, has a seed in the middle. It's a fruit. Like an avocado is a fruit. Most people see it as vegetables. Tomatoes can be both a fruit or a vegetable. For dinner last night, does anyone care what I had for dinner last night? You guys want me to tell you? Well, if you're skipping, 
Who am I skipping? I thought you already said what you had. No. Oh, you did? I'm just, what did, hold on, Brian, what did you have in your last See, I get the French fries. I knew it. What did you have? I had, a, I had three, uh, three tacos. Uh, oh, that's right. Yeah, two tacos and my honey tacos. This is from a place that starts with a D. Done something. The name I don't remember. I can't pronounce it. Over in the Northgate area? Yeah, Northgate. Uh, North See, I listened to you. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> And for dinner last night, what do you guys think I had for dinner last night? Do you guys listen to what I said this morning? Do you listen to me? Oh, I don't remember what it was. You were listening because you don't remember. <laughs> do you remember what I had? I made Spanish rice. I know what you had. Spanish rice with eggs. Rice with okay. eggs. What were the vegetables I saw uh, Thank Thank you for listening to me. Yo. Very good. And red bell pepper. Red bell pepper. And onion. And onion. Yeah. Now, Libby, I'm going to say this, though. The Snapchat yeah. thing, putting me on Snapchat, I have asked you guys. Please don't do that. It's not online public. It's just the one person. Do I know? I don't know. Do I know the person? Dylan. 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 Paul. 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 Uh, no, I don't remember. Oh, Dylan! He was friends with Big Herman. Right, right, right. Yeah. Okay. Let's go to the one I said. I said Tim's a video. Okay. <laughs> 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 Did you should show him I do a good video No. <laughs> oh, do you like my background? Can you keep me close to the house? <laughs> oh, it looks like a cat. Who the hell is that? I'm here. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Lit? It says lit, really? Lit. lit. Don't announce that. It's like here, bust me. It's like getting a pot leaf tattoo. Whoa. All right. All right, you're back. Okay, I want to go over. Uh, they got the notes so far. We're not going to add to them today. We're going to review the notes that you guys have. Try to answer these questions without having to. Use your notes. But have your notes in front of you in case you can't. You have 11 turns you guys are responsible for. You had about four or five to fill in that you didn't do and yesterday. I didn't <laughs> yeah. I didn't by no crap, Sherlock. No, I did not. When he walked out, did I not ask you what you had for dinner last mm -hmm. night? Pay attention. No. You're accusing me of stopping no. my instructions. To accuse me of something I didn't even do. Be a moment, boy. Man, that's messed up. Are you gonna be a moment? That's because I'm Chinese, huh? <laughs> Why you hate Chinese people, yo? Let me think here. Wait, you think I'm Chinese? He's gonna hold. He's gonna crack it, that's why. No, what about you, Chinese? No, he's Japanese, duh. Alright, I need someone to get me some coffee. Who's gonna get me some coffee? Wait, from it, from Bookstore. Oh, no, 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 I've been, I already have. Bookstore? Okay. Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Did you have anything? You kind of, and then you get the coffee kind of with it. Hey, Sam, I'm sorry, Mr. Wallace asked me to see if you guys were hiding in the No, I'm not here. Just do no. this. No. Because okay, it's a okay. subtle okay. way. You know what I mean? Like, don't be too obvious. I'll do that. Hold on. Let's teach you. I'll do this. I kind of push with that. You sound like a I'm sorry, Mr. Wallace. Are you going to make it a Mr. Wallace? Mr. Wallace. Mr. Wallace. Like, loop it over at the bookstore. Book room. Okay. Make sure you say please and thank you. I'm going to miss No, we're going to review right now. You guys got your notes out? First word, you ready? Ernesto, tell us what scarcity is. All right, fine. Hey, you got your notes. Or can you do this without notes? Well, then get up and get them. Come on, let's go, guys. Notes out. Go ahead, do it. The lack of a supply. Supply. Let me see what you wrote. Let me see, make sure that you wrote. Oh, sufficient supply to meet all desires. So all demand, scarcity. OK, 
Okay, so something is scarce. We're talking about economically speaking. It's a lack of supplies, a lack of products, or does it have to be goods that can be scarce? Hello, people. Is it just goods? No, what else? Who said no? It could be other stuff. You're gonna have to be a little more specific. <laughs> it could be other stuff. Well, what are those be. other things? Now, listen, economy, we're talking good. <laughs> no. Did you do the whole technique? No. I thought you were like a rebel. <laughs> okay, what right. do I want you to do? No, no, I am rebel because I didn't follow your explanation. Did you say thank you? Yes. Okay, would you walk by and just kind of go? <laughs> okay, just kind of do that. And then just say, what do you need? <laughs> okay, and then I'm going to send you, and I need you to walk by and just kind of look through the window. Don't say anything, just look at it. Walk on. Say, Mr. Wallace didn't send me. <laughs> Will you do it? Yeah. We want to send three students. Who's willing to do it? Are you willing to do it? Yeah. Let me, will you do it? Make, make Nico do it. He doesn't do anything in this class. He doesn't do anything in this class. He never speaks. What a mean thing to say. Mr. Wallace. He said what he had for dinner. Didn't you say what you had for dinner? Yeah. Yeah, uh, calls calls hey, Brian, call it. <laughs> you want to go? No, Brian. Oh, good. <laughs> Alright, scarcity. So a lack of a sufficient supply. Oh. <laughs> Why'd you just say oh? <laughs> because you got Mr. Tough Guy over here. Hey, Ryan. <laughs> 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 Ryan. Did you, hey, did we get a packet? Uh, they said they're going to send it to your class. Okay. All right. Brian, would you read? Read your world history. Whatever chapter. Do you know what chapter you guys are on? Do you know which chapter? Did you? Yeah. What did you, what? Did you like, look in there? Yeah. Do you want to look in? Okay. I don't want you to do anything. Well, then you have to make her look. Just like stick your head in your socks. <laughs> right, we won't do that. Hey, do you know what chapter you're supposed to What? Are you ready? Are you ready? Okay, got your notes, please. So, scarcity, a lack of supply, sufficient supply to meet needs. Now, Libby, question. Are goods the only thing we're going to be when we're talking guys? Guys, I think that's the best way to be here. I don't know. Are goods the only thing that can be scarce in an economy? No. What else? Good and one more. Great land is under the, the umbrella of resources. <laughs> What else can you say? Oh, oh, oh. oh. No. Like Joanna, no, that's a resource. She's a girl. That's a resource. Can be right? No, no, that's under resource. Oh my God. Good. Oh, 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 oh. Guys, you ready for this? Okay, so let's, we have it. No. Oh. Well, it's a type of resource. Oh my God. <laughs> Excuse me, guys. Excuse me. I'm going to jump ahead to something that we haven't written down, but you guys should know, and this will give you your answer. Okay? What is GDP? Gross domestic what? product. Hey, Sam. Gross Please. domestic Thank product. You. Yeah, yeah. Gross domestic What do we look at when we're looking at gross domestic product? We're looking at two things. We're looking at two things that a society provides. What are they? What are we looking at? No. What is gross domestic product? It is an indicator of what? It's an indicator of a nation's economic health yeah. based on all what and what that are produced over that. We're looking at over a year within a nation. What two items are we looking at? Taxes. No. All goods being produced and services being provided. Now I'm going to go back to this question. Samantha, do you need to go somewhere else right now? Is that too distracting for you? Okay, so I want you to be listening right now. This is distracting. I understand. I don't have a problem with it, but I'll send you where you can concentrate. Okay. 
and then you can just study your notes. The other, so the two things we're looking at when we're talking about scarcity, now you brought up the three things are scarcity of resources, goods, and services. For example, you can have lots of resources, right? Say let you can have a natural resource like timber, but if you don't have people chopping down the timber, you're not going, or if you don't have people who have a supply of timber, of processed wood products to build houses, then a service like a carpenter isn't going to matter. You guys following me here? So it's scarcity in resources, goods, and services. So I don't really know what's happening right now, but I'm gonna move on to the next thing. All right, opportunity cost, Dai Chi. Explain to me opportunity cost. Give me the definition and then give it to me in your own words. Like give me an example. What's the definition of opportunity cost? The value of net best alternative given that my choice was made. Okay, so give me an example. So you're going to determine what is the value of doing this? I'm gonna do this one action. I'm gonna make this one choice. And it's gonna have an impact on me economically speaking, financially speaking. That's what an opportunity cost is. So you're gonna give up. You're gonna to have to pay. You pay now or pay later, okay? For example, something like what? What's a choice you might make? So think of yourselves, you guys, and think about the context of your own lives. Listen, when you're done with school, hopefully you will either continue school or you will start working. Are you guys all seeking that for when you're done with school? Yes? Hello? Are you all seeking that, either a job or more schooling? Okay. So you might have to give one up for the other, depending on certain life situations, okay? So what are they, thank you, Frank. Are those uh, packets for World History? Yeah. Awesome. Thanks a lot. Oh, Frank. Brian? What are you giving up by going to college instead of working? You're giving up time working. Which means what? What are you giving up? You're giving up income. Yeah. You're going to give up income in order to go to college. But is the opportunity cost worth it, Samantha? You're guessing, huh? Okay. So if you give up working, then you afford an income to go to college. Is that opportunity cost worth it? Yeah. Could it be worth it? Why? Because I mean, if you're still gonna be like in school and stuff, you have a better chance, you know, getting a better job. Oh, no. okay. So when you're done with school, you might be able to get a better pay. <laughs> okay. No. So maybe you work less. That doesn't mean, hey guys, when I when I throw this scenario at you. You don't have to make the choice, I'm either going to only go to college or only go to work. You can do both. And some people can handle going to college full time and working full time, okay? So you're gonna have to make those decisions. Like, I couldn't make the decision when I was going to college, when I was getting my master's degree. Guys? I had a kid on the way. And I couldn't stop working. In fact, I had to take on a second job is when I was going to UNR. So I took on a job on the weekends and I worked during the day and I'd go to school at night and on the weekends I had a second job to support the family. Okay? But I also wasn't going to quit school because I figured if I can finish school and I can deal with working a lot right now and I was young 
and healthy at the time and I had a lot of energy, I figured I'd end up in the long run making more money. And I was right. Having that master's degree allows me to make more money now. But at the time, it was really difficult. And I had no social life. I had no time to visit friends. I had no time to dance at the clubs. I couldn't do my underwear modeling. No. Uh, Miko. You couldn't pop bottles. Give me four types of resources. I don't even want to know. Give me four types of resources. Go. <laughs> <laughs> which is, guys, excuse me, which falls under what category? Land. So your category should be land, <laughs> capital. You guys looking at your notes? Under resources. Where are your notes? What the hell are you doing, man? You're starting to really frustrate me today. What's listening? Okay, all right, fair enough. I'm sorry, I shouldn't say that. Yeah, no, right. Well, I have a right, <laughs> but I shouldn't have done that. So I'm telling you, I'm sorry. Um, I don't forget you. Well, that's, I don't care. <laughs> 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 that's you. I'm saying I'm sorry. If you don't forgive me, get over it. I love you, I love you too. That's why I'm, that's why I'm apologizing. That's for Danny. I can't if you don't stop talking about it. <laughs> I'm trying to move on, for God's sake. Move on, come on. Four types of resources. Land and underland falls natural resources. Okay, Nico? So I want you so underland is natural resources, the blessings of nature. And then another resource is what? It's capital. Go ahead, what falls under capital? What two resources fall under capital? Look at your notes if you need to. <laughs> what two resources fall under capital? Excellent. Human or labor? No, no, but that's good. Human capital, which would be a labor force. Human capital and physical capital. Dai Chi, can you give me an example of physical capital? What does that mean? Now that's not in your notes, but we talked about this a lot. Go back to our bakery. What would be the physical capital represented in our bakery? Something like what? If you understand the concept of physical capital, you'll be able to answer that question. What is physical capital? It is the machinery required, it's the stuff required the physical stuff required to produce a good or to conduct your service. For example, if I'm a plumber, what kind of physical capital do I need to be a plumber? Your tools. My tools. A snake. You guys know that snake? A big metal screw when they clean out your toilet. You guys know how to do this? You guys can do this yourself. You have what's called a clean out. Your sink, you find out where your clean out is. This is pipe. It's going to have a big cap on it outside. It's usually outside of the wall wherever your kitchen is. Or if it's in the pantry, let's say your sink in your garage, if that's where your laundry is. If that gets clogged, you find your clean out. And you can take a snake, this big metal like kind of tube thing, and you shove it into that clean out. And then you can run it through there, and that'll unclog whatever stuff there. Or you can pay a plumber, and they're going to charge you 150, 100 bucks an hour to do it. Okay, but the plumber's tools are his physical capital, or her. It's a female plumber. Never had a female plumber, but you know, it can happen. All right, physical capital is a machinery. So in a bakery, what's physical capital, Devin? Something like what? One of my machines is worth so that if you try to buy my bakery, when I give you a number, I'm gonna base it on things like, you're gonna to have to pay me for my physical capital. So when you buy this building, you're also buying what? The oven. So I'm gonna factor that into the cost of my bakery. I'm gonna factor that into the cost of production. So when you guys die cheap, you walk into Rayleigh's, 
Have you ever bought a loaf of bread at Randy's? Have you ever bought a cake? Have you bought a sandwich? Yes. You've bought a sandwich. You've paid for part of their physical capital. Somewhere in there, that sandwich. They got these programs, they really do. And they break everything down, every good down. This is how much it costs to produce this sandwich. And they have to account for the physical capital, the labor, the input, things like dough to make that bread, things like roast beef to make that sandwich, the mayonnaise, all of those things. They're also going to factor in there, hey, this is the price of the refrigerator, the electricity that goes into this refrigerator where we put this sandwich in the meat. You guys following me here? Yeah. Another thing they're going, the transportation, the cost to deliver these things, all of those things are factored into the operating cost, which goes into the price of goods. Okay? So physical capital. Give me another resource. So we got labor, we got capital, what else? Entrepreneurs, what are entrepreneurs? We're not gonna talk about that as much, but it's an important part. It's the people with the business vision. So instead of making a sandwich here, here's the difference between an entrepreneur and someone who owns a sandwich shop. I could own a sandwich shop. Here, I'm an entrepreneur. You know what I did one day? I took a maple bar. You guys know what a maple bar is? A donut. You ever eaten a maple bar? I have a long donut like this. Seriously, I did this. At the cafe where I worked out in Reno, I took that maple bar. One day I was sitting there in the cafe with a bunch of vegetarians came out there. And I thought, I'm going to take just got this brilliant idea. I'm going to make sausage links from this one casino that have killer sausages, right, for their buffets. I don't know if you guys have ever gone to a casino eating at a buffet. They had these killer sausages. I opened up, I cut that maple bar donut. I opened it up and I put sausages in it and closed it up and made a sandwich. That's literally diabetes. Yeah, but it's good. <laughs> okay. Called it a maple bar sausage sandwich. So here's what we did. Wait, did you ever, did you come home with that? I came up with it. Why didn't you like Donna when you were working that day and you know, you You ready? You ready for this? Why? What am I not? Because it would have taken your idea and made it their own. Go back to resources. Because I'm not an entrepreneur. I don't have business vision. I didn't strike out on my own. So there was a student who used to go to school here. Have you guys ever walked through the quad here and seen the French mural? The student who painted the French mural was this multi-talented student. And he started a clothing company. I think the clothing company is called Hella Trees. <laughs> right? He was all about that. He started this clothing company. He did, he's an artist. He's like, he's an entrepreneur. He took something that other young people would be like, oh yeah, I'm going to buy that. And he knew. He knew what would be popular. And he started marketing his clothing. What he does is he does silk screening. So what he does is he sells you a t-shirt. And on that t-shirt will be some design that young people will think is cool. Supreme. Whatever. Louis Vuitton. The Supreme. Right? It's having, that's what an entrepreneur does. They take an idea and they turn it into money for that big business and make a profit, which feeds the economy. Okay? And then the last, the last resource, Nico, is what? So we got land, we got capital, we got entrepreneurs, and we got what? You got input. Andrew, what is input? So let's go back to the bakery. We got our capital, right? We got our physical capital, which is our oven. We got our human capital, which is our labor force. We got our entrepreneur, the person who started the bakery. I know it's whoever had the vision for cake pops. You guys eat cake pops? I don't know what that is. You don't know? It's a stick, it's a lollipop. Are you serious? You don't know what a cake pop is? Why are you putting on in like that one? They take a cake, a round cake, and they make it like a lollipop, and they cover it in uh, frosting, and they sell it like a, like a lollipop. Oh, I don't like But it's a cake. Right, but whoever did that, 
had a really good idea because whoever had the vision to do that is making a lot of money. Okay? I never thought of that before. <laughs> you know? I came up with the maple bar sausage sandwich, but I didn't know how to market it. Okay. So we got our entrepreneur. We got our land. We got resources like we have wheat to make flour. What's the input? So guys, the input are all of the items that we put into the physical capital, into the machinery at the bakery, so that now I have a good I can sell. What do I put in that? Okay, question. Is the mixing bowl, the big mixing bowl, where I make cake and bread and all that stuff, is that capital? That'd be physical capital, right? What do I put in the mixing bowl? Sugar, what else? Does sugar come from land? Yeah. yeah, but sugar doesn't come from, like, when you go to the plant, you don't grab it and it's sugar in your hand, right? you got to process it. So the raw material, the sugar cane, is the land resource. That's the natural resource. Then I process it, and now I have granulated sugar. And I'm going to put that in the bowl. What else do I put in the bowl to make it cake? Besides sugar. Powder. You got milk. You got eggs. What else? Water. What else? Flour. Flour. What else? Powder. Baking soda. What else? Maybe. Okay, so like if I want to make a chocolate cake, what do I got to put in there? Ice cream. Ice cream or whatever? Well, yeah, those are, so those are all inputs. Ice cream. You guys get it now? Okay. Because if I have you, if I give you a business right now, I want you to take it through the whole thing. If I say, I want you guys to start a sandwich shop, who's the entrepreneur? Give me an idea that an entrepreneur, what would an I what would an entrepreneur do for a sandwich shop? Make sandwiches? No. That's a laborer. That's a cap that's part of capital, that's human capital. What does an entrepreneur do for a sandwich shop? Marketing. Like what? Go with it. Um, Turkey sub, how is that different than any other sandwich? No, no, no. So listen, guys, this sandwich shop, it, this is going to be wildly popular. We're going to call the sandwich shop Hella Trees. Is that going to help us sell sandwiches? No. No. So, so the entrepreneur would come up with a different sandwich. I'll give you an idea. If you were the entrepreneur of a new sandwich shop, that, what would you come up with? Hey, what's your special? You know, my friends, we just heard that you opened up a new sandwich. What do you got? Oh, 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 oh. Hot butter. Okay. Mr. Oh, so the marketing, so the name, we're going to call it Hot Butter. What are we going to sell? What kind of sandwich are you Hot sandwich. Yeah. Hot okay, so now what do we sell? Hot butter. Hot butter. Hot butter. Okay, so we're going to specialize in hot sandwich. Now, can you get hot sandwiches at Subway? Yeah. Can you get it at, okay, so. Not only are they hot, but you had your hand up. Three slices. <laughs> <laughs> We're not going to your sandwich. Hey, what do they specialize in? Bread? <laughs> Maybe it's really good bread. Like what kind of what would be a novel type of bread to use? How about all of your sandwiches are made with donuts? Yeah. Would that be popular? Yeah. They did that with ice cream, right? Hello, Libby, could you put that away, please? Be part of this. So what kind of, so it's not just hot sandwiches, but how about combinations of items within a sandwich? What would be radical that you think would draw people to your place? That's really radical. Because nobody does that. Nobody eats pain. Let me guess. Oh, wait a minute. Well, should we add jelly to that? Peanut butter jelly time. <laughs> yes, you want to the water? Oh, it's in here. Oh, man, I like this. It's getting better. What is it? Hey, this will warm out even on the water. I'm sitting down, you're in the water, and I'm sitting down too long, so I need to get my body moving. Okay. You guys, so, so Mr. Moore looked at you and was like, dude, you've been sitting down a long time, let's take a walk. Yeah. I don't think that happened. Uh, I think we're talking too much. I wasn't. I wasn't talking much. I just, um, I don't believe that. I need to get out of the So you, okay, that's fine. 
So I had to walk somewhere else. <laughs> <laughs> but I didn't walk back because he said I only got five minutes. Okay. Alright, I'm going back to the side of the interview. Hey, help me with the hunt with the concept of entrepreneurial. Hey, Victor, tell him all about the latest movie you saw. I can't leave. I sent Chris, she's not here. I need a volunteer to make sure that Ryan comes back. Do I have a volunteer? What about Becky? Please. Becky, you can come back. I think so. I don't know. I think he's out. He could be in the layover. Oh, you can be in the house. He'll be right there. Okay. Oh, so he wasn't going out with you? No. Could you ask him to come back? Just, just. What's the input that goes into the sandwiches? Vegetables, like what? Tomatoes. Tomatoes. That's what else? Fruit. The meats, the cheeses, right? Is mayo an input, Nico? Maybe is mustard an input? Is mayonnaise an input? Okay. <laughs> Question, is mayo a natural resource? Mayo doesn't grow. What natural resource? Right, so the natural resource would be eggs, chickens, right? Alright, All right, enough of that. Which is disgusting. Um, what is the standard of living? It's different between countries. No, 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 no. What is the definition? I'm not asking you. You're answering a different question. What is the definition of standard of living? And then I'm going to ask you a question that you can't think about. But first, give me the definition. So, what more material wealth is measured by life? Could you not mutter? Can you like project yourself? You have a nice reading voice. Let everyone hear. The level of material wealth as measured by all goods and services. The measure of material wealth as measured are by all goods and services. So when we look at GDP, we're determining our standard of living. Okay? I have a question for you guys. Do you guys live in a country that you would say the average standard of living is pretty high? Like when you look around, I'm not asking that you have a high standard of living. Generally speaking, do you think the standard of living in America is high? Yes or no? I don't know. You don't know? Okay, why don't you know? Because, uh... What, what do you need in order to know? Statistics. Like what? Like, um, I have to know how everyone's living. You need to, so when you look around, how do you think people, do you think most people in this country, I'm not talking about all people, I'm talking about do most people have all the material things they need and want? Yes or no? Yeah. Okay. So most people have all of the material. What the hell is he doing? Sweet Jesus. <laughs> hey, Mr. Bojangles. You guys know who Mr. Bojangles is? He's a tap dancer. Long before your time. <laughs> now question. Do we have a high standard of living based on services? Medium. You would say medium? 
Libby, what do you think? How do you think our standard of living is based on services? The only way you can answer this one is you like it. Sound like my grandpa getting off the toilet. Oh. Actually, it sounds like your stepdad. Get the toilet. I'm sorry. You don't want to think about that. Forgive me. I don't want to think about that. You know, sometimes he'll call me and go, hey, Jay, I need to talk to you. I go, where are you? I'm in the bathroom. And I'll think like he's in there painting or something. And I'll open the door and he'll be taking it down. I'm like, dude. He goes, no, no, no. I need to talk to you. I want to talk to you while you're thinking it down. <laughs> Andrew, in order to understand, in order to determine, in order to have an idea about whether or not we have sufficient services here in this country, do you understand what services we do have? What services do we have at our fingertips? Education. Education. We got free education. Entertainment. For the most part, we can be entertained, right? If we want to. Is it free? No. Some of it. Some of it, like what? Where could you get entertainment for free? Getting on a rock. Walking in the park. Okay, so that's not a service, but, but wait a minute. It's entertainment. Free. Well, what's entertainment? What's a service that's provided for your entertainment? Things like what? Question. So, okay, here, I'm going to give you an answer. Okay. <laughs> Music, concerts is a type of service, right? But it's not free. A performer. Now, question. Are there free concerts? concerts that you can access as being part of the public? Once in a while. Living in Sacramento, like it's you guys very know, rare. it's very rare. I think it depends on where you live, right? So that's why people will move into cities. So if you live in Midtown here in Sacramento, there's a lot of things that happen for free. Cesar Chavez Park in the summer has concerts in the park. I believe they do it every Friday night. There's usually some band that's playing. Now, it might not be a band that you particularly like, but there are things that happen for free. Have you guys ever done the Art Walks Second Saturdays? Do you guys know about this? One of my former students, the guy who drew that, played in a band that played at the Second Saturday. James Buckley and another former student, Justin Villalonga, was a drummer who played in a band at Second Saturday. They're providing a free service, free entertainment for people. Okay. Now, the other thing is, when you guys want to see a concert, do you have easy access to concerts and stuff in this country? So that's where you look at, like, standard of living, determine, well, like, uh, you know, I guess, I like what you said. You would need to know statistically how many people go to concerts. Are concerts priced so high? How many of you have been to Coachella? You guys ever heard of the music festival Coachella? You have not? Libby, I bet when you move out, and you go to college, you're going to hear about Coachella. I'm not going to Coachella. Go. I've heard of Coachella. You've heard of Coachella. I'd rather go to Burning Man, honestly. And those things cost a lot of money. So the question isn't that do they cost money? It's like, are things so expensive you can't access them? Why do you have to go loud? Because I have it on loud. <laughs> yes. Because I have it on loud. Because I can't hear my, my music. Oh, uh, <laughs> I'm kidding. You're not kidding. That's the thing. You're not kidding. You're like, damn, I gotta leave one ear exposed. And this is so I gotta hear all this shitty music. <laughs> On that note, I'm gonna stop. I'm in. Now, it's, you guys, take a break. We've been talking to you. We're gonna revisit this resources. I don't want you to just know the terms, but I want you to know how they would apply. Guys, just a heads up, I'm going to give you guys a business and I'm going to have you guys map out entrepreneurial decisions, decisions based on or understanding what your land resources are, what your capital is, etc., etc., etc.
Say what? I just don't want to leave my problems to have it here. That's, you know what? I like the decision. Yep. I was oh. looking. I was looking for that chip that I dropped. For Matt, I was really doing. 